Half? Half? <laughs> no, all right. Should I? Am I better like that? Yes. All well, right. I love you. Oh. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Uh, so no classes, is it? Yes. Okay, all right. So hey everyone, this is Portugal here today with a new, a new haircut this time. Um, so today we're going to be talking about uh, ant food and ant nutrition. And uh, let's get right into it, because my girlfriend kind of um, took some time off of us. Alright, so the aquarium is now fully done with the new the new hardscape, and uh, I hope the fish are liking it, but though now they're, they are obviously scared of my presence. I've been away for two weeks, and now they're not accused, uh, accused, accustomed to people anymore. So um, they're just like myself. All right, so let's get into it. Let's start with uh, the basics. So uh, ants need, in general, protein and hydrocarbonates. And um, you can give them a variety of things, and except for some ants, which require a very specific diet, and some species which are like, you know, leaf cutter ants and stuff along those lines, most ants can eat, and you'll, you'll learn how to feed most ants with this video, I'd say, except for leaf cutters, nothing can stop you now. So, in protein, you get protein in... Normally, your staple protein diet should come in one of two, I'd say two, two or three different forms. So the first one should be, and that should be the basis of any ants' diets except harvester ants, that should be insects, right? So the best insects to feed ants are cockroaches and mealworms or superworms according to the size of your ants. I recommend uh, mealworms and cockroaches and superworms which are basically mealworms but bigger uh, in favor of stuff like crickets and grasshoppers because those guys tend to be harder to keep and maintain a colony of them to feed your ants also, there's fruit, fruit flies, which you can give, but they are very small and I prefer to kill the animals I give to my ants first. So, fruit flies killing each and every one of them is, you know, too much of a hassle. But they're good, for, for most ant species they're like perfect. So if you have a big colony which can take down everything you put inside of their outworld, every fruit fly, very quickly, fruit flies are great. They're easy to maintain and they're a great protein source. So, I'm terribly afraid of cockroaches, so all I give my ants is mealworms. Now I hope you can see inside this shot glass, which is a plastic shot glass that I use for many things around my ant room stuff. I have mealworms here in the larval form, and as you can see, there are big ones, small ones, and very, very, very teeny tiny ones which means you can feed a myriad of uh, ant colonies with a single mealworm so you can feed small mealworms, cut up, of course, two small colonies and small ants so you can go around and do whatever needs to be done. Now, if you're, not, if you're, just, if you're not just buying them, if you're keeping them and raising a colony of them you'll also have, give it a second, Darkling beetles, which are the adult form of mealworms. Now I've got this guy here, I can put him in my hand. They do not bite or anything, they're perfect to give your hands there. I really do not like having them crawling on my skin. It's now on the floor, give me a second. Because they grasp very harshly, uh, but they're, they're totally, totally safe. To, to handle, just like the mealworms. I just really don't like to do that. And um, the darkling beetles are a great source of protein and for a very, uh, for, very for, for ants there that really hunt a lot of living insects, you can give them the adult forms and they'll, they'll have a blast hunting them. Now, uh, these guys should be the staple diet, should be the basis of any diet of any ants except harvester ants, and leaf cutters. And then you have beetle jelly or protein jelly, whatever you want to call it. It comes normally in 16 grams packets, 
usually this form or the wider, larger form, but less tall, more wide. Now, I ordered some of this in bulk when I started end keeping and I have not ordered ever since. But um, I feel scammed because I bought them as end products and this is essentially beetle protein jelly in different flavors. This is banana and this is probably orange or something. And you can order off of Amazon and on Amazon, normally in end stores, these will go for like 2 euros, 1 euro something a piece. And if you order them off of Amazon as Beetle Jelly, you'll get prices uh, as expensive as 0.5 euros, 0.7 euros. And if you order bulker storage uh, at once, you'll get even better deals for it. So it's very cheap. So are mealworms. In every reptile shop, they'll sell mealworms for a very, very cheap price, and you can maintain a colony for a very long while. So, all of that's cheap. Now, there's another. Um, stuff floating around the market nowadays, which is um, this sort of protein mixture that's that it's a liquid, a concentrate that's made out of I have no idea what and uh, it's supposed to be diluted in water and put in test tubes like you give sugar water to your ants and um, I'd say this is not necessary in any way whatsoever for your ants this is very expensive and it is uh, something that the ants tend to enjoy, but some of them don't, and all of them like insects and beetle jelly. So I'd say this is not an investment that is worthwhile, unless uh, you can get this for a lot cheaper than I can. So uh, this I wouldn't recommend, I have a few and I use them because I bought them, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. So, there's the staple proteins, that's what you should have for your ants. And also for your ants, you should have uh, the chirohydrates, right? So for most uh, ant species, insects and beetle jelly contain some sugars and some, and some chirohydrates in the fat of the mealworm, which is a very fatty insect. And the beetle jellies are sweetened, so they have sugars. Uh, you can also supplement this in non... You know, some, some ant species are very insectivorous and they'll do fine with just this protein and the little carbohydrates that comes with it, like uh, Myrmica or Manica rubida. Um, but you should give most ants more uh, sugars, like honey, sugar water, sugar honey water. This honey is not ideal, it's very liquid, you see. You want a thicker honey, a raw honey, and I don't have any with me because at the moment, I'm not using it for any of my ant species, um, and I have not bought that for a while. But this is a good, this is an, is a, an example. If you have this, you should dilute it in water and use it in test tube setups. Now, there's also something else, which are seeds. Now, seeds. Some species, like Mesa and other species that are classified as uh, granivores. They can eat solely seeds, but they should be complemented with some protein. Now, in that, in that department, a lot of, of ant species can eat seeds, like Tetramorium can eat a lot of seeds, Fidoli can eat seeds, and on that note, you can give them grass seeds, which are out of everything, they're easier to process and digest. You can give them, you know, human seeds like shea or uh, whatever seeds you can yourself eat, they can eat as well. And you can give them bird seeds, though these, these are very tough and should only be given to, to ant species that have the power in their mandibles to crush them up. So for Messer, this should be fine. For, for, this, for example, Temnothorax, this is ideal, grass seeds. Now you can you can find this online or on garden stores, I guess. I don't know. I have a lot of this uh, just around the house. Now, with all this, you can feed the colony forever and ever, and you should have no problems with nutrition, right? The one thing you need to know is that you can feed them almost anything. They're they're in general they're very omnivorous. So if you have stuff that you can eat that doesn't contain a lot of chemicals, that's very organic. All of that they can eat, right? So pieces of meat, um, eggs, for example, hard-boiled eggs are very good for ants. 
Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you should not give them stuff that has been seasoned, right? Seasoned stuff is never good for animals in general. So even though they can, because they're very small and they do not actually eat the season, uh, you should not. You should maintain a very organic and simple when you give stuff that you normally eat to your ants. So a good treat for an ant colony is this hard boiled egg, the, the yellow part, the, is it the yolk? I don't know, it's probably called the yolk, I guess. Uh, the yellow part, the, the small round part inside where the chick should be living, but you just killed it. You killed the baby. Yeah, that's it. I'm not thinking anything, I'll kill any babies to eat some eggs. But, um, so, you can also give them stuff that's a little bit more processed when it comes to the sugars part. You can give them cakes and cookies. And you can give them like rolled oats and stuff like that to, to add species that normally eat seeds that should be great for them because it's already mashed up and the good stuff is already spewing out. Uh, just keep in mind that you should keep it to a very organic, uh, organic supplements and organic food when you talk about it and you should just give them a little bit of that. You should not maintain an ant colony solely on those types of foods. You can also give them fruits. Fruits are very good. Now one thing you have to keep in mind with all of this is that some of this stuff, if given in certain ways, will dirty up your outworld in ways that you can avoid. For example, if you cut up the mealworm, the, the juicy insides will start to spew out. So if you do not have sand, which will attach to the, the meat and the hemoglobin, and will uh, you know, prevent it, will kind of coagulate it. If you do not have sand, it will uh, dirty up the acrylic, if that's what you have in your in your outworld. And so you should keep in mind to give it, for example, in a little plate, a little piece of plastic, so that you do not have to do extra maintenance on your ants. For example, when you're feeding them fruits, fruits that are very juicy, for example, orange or mango, something like that, that will dirty up everything. So those fruits you should keep away from those. Apple is perfect, pear is very good, um, banana is also kind of good, but banana rotten is very fast. Pear and apple oxi oxidate and dry out instead of rottening, so it's better to give apple, and because if you forget about it, it's not that bad, and you forget about banana for a day or two, and you, and you cannot enter your ant room at all forever. So, keep that in mind, maintain a simple diet. Uh, a varied diet, but still simple. You should not be going all out or crazy to give them stuff. You can take care of ant colonies, diets and nutrition very, very simply. So I hope with the very little that I've shown you here, you can understand that this is all you need. There's nothing else that people give ants, I believe. And this is what you need to know to feed any ant colony, except with Katarina. So see you later. Bye bye. Ay, 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 ay.